amended charges. Actually, Your Honor, there's an existing assault and battery for Sarah Phillips that was amended only because there was a misspelling of her last name on that complaint. The other charge for her was a child abuse fourth that's been amended to a child abuse second. Ms. T has the only amendment based Ms. T's file is the child abuse fourth is now a child abuse second as in both cases further information is coming to the prosecution detention since the charging original of this uh, original charges of this offense that um, allows for the amendment to the felony charges. It is, Your Honor, but I'd like the record to reflect the fact <clears throat> that for both of my clients, I've, I've indicated to them, I've indicated them right from the beginning that if what they were charged with, they did not plead uh, guilty as charged, uh, that there was a potential that this would be amended and turned into a felony. I explained both of that and they, they knew that. The one primary concern that they wanted, they said, well, can you give us a guarantee of no jail time? I said, I can't do that. I said, the prosecutor doesn't have that ability. I don't have that ability. Uh, the only person that has that ability is this court. This court is not going to agree to anything until they've had an opportunity to uh, review the files and do everything else on top of it. I explained all of that to them. I just want to make the right clear that, that I had done that and, and they knew that. And the reason, that, one of the real reasons right now is because they want, really they want cops to think the agreement. I just told them that, that it cannot be achieved here. Ms. T, is Mr. Daly accurately reflected the discussions you've had with him? You understand that the prosecutor makes plea agreements, but judges sentence. If it were a misdemeanor, then I would be a sentencing judge. And I will not agree to a cop agreement ahead of being able to see a pre-sentence report because I wouldn't have I don't get a police report. I don't know anything about you. I don't know anything about these events. And therefore, I would not presume to agree to a sentence without knowing more about the case. That would be like you agreeing to buy a car for $50,000 without ever seeing the car. Would you do that? Well, I'm not going to either. I can't figure out what's best in this situation without any details. And so um, you've rolled the dice on this one and now you're looking at a second degree criminal sexual conduct. First time you use physical child abuse case, second degree, second year felony. Ms. Phillips, you've heard Mr. Daly and what he had to say is that an accurate representation of the discussion of this you understand the discussions that I've had with Mr. If you have any questions, either of you, about what's been placed on the records or what I've indicated this morning. Will Andrew please not guilty? What would you have to do with these files now? You want another pre exam set? Yes, Ron. I, I ask that they be treated as um, they would in any other felony after a random to be set for a preliminary exam conference. You know, we, we still have a great interest in trying to resolve this matter. I think my clients do too. I just haven't been in a position to get it done yet. I really don't want to rush this thing. I'd like to sit down so that I can have another chance to talk to the prosecutors. There are some other videotapes that I haven't had an opportunity to see. I would still like to resolve this with a, uh, a misdemeanor if I can, but I'm in the same position you are, Your Honor. I don't have all the information right now to make a decision that I want to uh, absolutely affect the rest of their life without having more information. Been a sentence for the 15th for pre exam and again for preliminary exam on the 22nd. But these are getting stale, and we will be doing something on the 15th and the 22nd, one way or the other. We're either going to have an exam or a waiver. But at, at this point, Mr. Gailey, I certainly appreciate your position and you know the old um, adage about getting all your ducks in a row and. Those kinds of things is also tempered by the state court administrative law that indicates to the courts that justice delayed is justice denied. And um, I don't know how we married those two together and came up with this beautiful theory on 
making people um, rush as it relates to decisions that will in fact affect their um, entire lives. But be that as it may, we're going to try and balance those two out and do the very best we can to give you the time you need uh, and yet uh, move forward so that we're giving uh, the general population the justice that that needs to be needed out here. Your Honor, may I just make one thing clear in response to Mr. Daly's comment regarding wanting to say there's somebody else? I, I know what he's referring to, and I'm not um, disputing that, but he does have everything that we have. Um, all discovery has been exchanged. He, I believe he's referring to some video think, that was not part of this case that may be helpful in his defense. I don't think Bixby Hospital has shared everything. The prosecutor's off the chart. <clears throat> and, that's, and he has everything that I have and that I need to follow through with my prosecution of this case. Well, and, um, I don't know what Bixby has or hasn't. Um, and, you know, certainly they're sitting in a, in a rough spot themselves because I would suggest that because these are employees of their organization, that the liability for them is just as great as it is right now uh, for these two young women. Uh, so their lives aren't on the line, these two young women are, and if they have exculpatory evidence or evidence that would help these two young women, shame on them if they're not sharing it. Um, and I, because it is a prosecutor's obligation to share all of that, I have to believe that um, Ms. Borders would join me with you in an attempt to get that, but um, we'll have to do whatever we have to do to get that information from this school, or from Medica, I guess it's really from Medica. Thank you. Thank you.